Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is the ninth video as part of our playlist of Tally's release 4.0. And we are covering the Excel feature of release 4.0. In the last four videos, we saw how we can import the basic accounting master and inventory master from the template that Tally provides. Also, we learned how we can have our own Excel sheet and map the tally field as per tally prime fields. In today's video, we will understand the entire fields related to accounting master and how you can use this additional information which you can now start adding those columns apart from the basic what we learned and even the taxation information like GST information and various other parallel masters like cost centers, cost categories. If you want to incorporate them from Excel sheet into Tally, we will learn and basically understand that what are the fields that are there and what important criteria that we have to understand for us to properly capture those fields in the Excel sheet and relevant masters so that the import from Excel sheet becomes easier and without any error. So let us go and understand the Excel sheet and the fields that are relevant for us to map them. I hope the four previous videos on Excel import would have provided you comfortable confidence of how you can leverage this feature and hasten your company master creation. Particularly, this will be very handy when you do not have a trained resource. It will be more advantageous for chartered accountants, tax practitioners, auditors and freelance bookkeepers to get the data from the client in an Excel sheet and import them. As mentioned in the introduction, in this session, we shall learn important aspects and prerequisites to understand Tally Prime fields, which will help all of you to start enhancing master structure from basic to advanced field incorporation in your Excel sheet. In a first video, we learned the steps to download sample template file for masters, which Tally provides. And with using this template, we had filled in the master information and imported the same into Tally Prime. I have provided the link of all previous videos related to release 4.0 in the description. What you see on the screen is the default template or the sample file that Tally provides, which we had downloaded. The file name is All Accounting Masters. If you notice, the first sheet name is the ledger, and this is where we had actually used this sheet and filled in our masters with the ledger name and the group names along with the opening balances and other information. Now observe the next sheet for ledger which says ledger read me. Let me click on this. Once you click on this sheet, you now have three columns. The first column basically provides the list of all the fields that are associated with accounting master. It could be an expense ledger, income ledger, asset ledger, liability ledger, party ledgers, tax ledgers. For every ledger, the entire field structure that are available in Tally Prime for the user to use those fields are provided here. The second column basically says that for which country these fields are applicable. So if you see all irrespective of which country you are managing your books of account, these fields are available for all countries and specifically there are certain fields related to the type of master that you want to import into tally it will say for which country it is applicable for example if you see here gst applicability gst applicability is for india similarly when you come down here the bank account details and the bank code is applicable for these countries and further when you come down here you will notice that there are certain fields example governorate is applicable for country of Bahrain, Oman, Egypt and Kuwait. This way it will help you to understand each of the field relevant to the 
country. These fields are related to party masters under the section of mailing detail. Now the third column is applicable values. This is very important for us to understand all the information in this column has to be captured in the Excel master sheet as specified here. The name we type in the master sheet has to match these words. Let us take this example of tax type GST which is applicable for India. So once you select or create a tax ledger that is IGST or CGST or SGST or CES ledger. Tally has a predefined field which says that what is the type of ledger that we are creating. So in that case you have to use these nomenclatures for you to properly import this data into Tally. The next one is the group sheet. When you click on group sheet you can now start creating your own groups apart from the 28 predefined group that tally provides. If you see here in our first video we had created a user defined group as marketing expenses, admin expenses and HR expenses under the parent group name of indirect expenses which is the predefined group. So this way once you import these groups and if the ledgers are created under these user defined group we can notice here that these are the expenses ledger that are created under the user defined group. Now again you have this group readme section which is again going to tell you what are the fields that are available for group master in tally related to any of the groups that you are creating and the applicable countries and also you have the applicable values which you have to capture them properly. Basically if you see the ledger and the group are primary masters. Apart from that, certain companies have parallel masters also. Example, they might have cost centers or cost categories. So how do we incorporate those master information in Excel and import them into Tally? In the similar way, the way we understood the ledger and the group, we also have the cost center master where you have to, this is the mandatory field, just capture the name of the cost center and automatically these cost centers will get captured under the primary cost center. And what are the other additional information that you can add to this cost center master? If you come down to cost center readme, the cost center readme master provides you additional fields that you can incorporate for your cost centers. Let us take a use case of cost center. You have multi-level cost centers created in your company. Example, you can create a parent cost center like we create the accounting group. Now if you observe the diagram on the screen here, you will see that there are two primary cost center that have been created. One is employees as a parent cost center. You will observe that under the parent cost center of employees, you have sub cost centers, the employee as Amar, Ganesh and Ram. Similarly, you have another parent cost center which is named as departments and under the parent cost center of departments, you have sub cost centers of sales, purchases and accounts. Now if you come down here to the cost center, if you just create the cost center as Amar, Ganesh and Ram, they will be automatically created under the primary cost center. Now the requirement is you want parent cost center. That is where if you notice here there is this field called parent name and you can add employees as the parent name and department as the parent name and accordingly when you create your cost centers here you will enter the name of the cost center and the parent name is captured here so that tally will automatically recognize this structure and import it the way you wanted the master structure. For parallel allocation of your cost centers. You also have cost categories. You can capture the cost categories and again what are the additional information that you can capture for cost categories also provided here which you can use them. To know more about the cost center and cost category features in Tally Prime, you can visit my playlist of cost center where there are 10 videos covering the entire features of cost center and cost categories. The link of all the videos are provided in the description for your quick access. Each master's readme information is very important for us to understand what are the additional fields that we can incorporate. Use these fields and important thing make sure the applicable values are captured properly in your excel master field and import them without any 
hassles or without any error i hope this video would have given you a clear understanding of how you can identify additional or parallel master or additional information that are required for you to capture in excel sheet and import them into tally though we have not seen the import activity in tally i hope the last four videos would have given you clarity of how you can add this field capture your master data and import it into tally in the upcoming session we will understand how are we now going to capture the accounting transactions and import it into tally so that you don't have to make voucher entry in tally so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much